Hi, I'm Ron Fuller. I am a Senior Technical Product Manager at VMware. I focus on networking and security inside of VMware Cloud on AWS. And today we're going to talk about a capability that we have called VMware Transit Connect and what it does for us. So let's start with the idea of what VMware Transit Connect is. Transit Connect is the VMware operational model for utilizing an AWS Transit Gateway um, and providing it as a managed service for our customers. So this greatly simplifies the connectivity models that the customers can deploy, while at the same time expanding the footprint and the uh, uh, options available to our customers through Transit Connect. We've really tried to take a big focus on simplifying what can be at times complex networking and making it very easy for customers to consume through the idea of an SDDC group. So let's talk through what that, uh, that looks like. So on this side of the, of the board, we've got three software-defined data centers that are separate, separate SDDCs that, uh, that we have a need or desire to interconnect. And the way we can accomplish that is by creating what's called an SDDC group. So we'll go into the VMC UI, we'll build out our SDDC group, and when we do that, it's a couple clicks of the, uh, the UI to say, hey, I want these SDCs to be a member of this group and give it this group name. And then we, uh, VMware, do all the heavy lifting with regards to stitching all of this infrastructure together. We instantiate the VMware Managed Transit Gateway, and then we provide the connectivity from those SDCs into the VTGW, populate the appropriate routing tables in each of the individual SDDCs so that you don't have to, and make the connectivity complete amongst all the members of the VTG, of the Transit Connect SDDC group. So it becomes very, very simple to, to interconnect all of these, inf all these SDDCs in the, in the same region through VMware Transit Connect. Now, what else does it do other than interconnect SDDCs? What if I need to talk to the outside world? Well, we have the ability to be able to have associations to native AWS VPCs, right? So if I have resources in a side of a VPC that I need these SDCs to have access to, I certainly can. Also, if I have my on-premises environment, or maybe it's a co-location facility, and I want to connect it into this environment, I can utilize, and I have a direct connect from my on-prem into the AWS environment, I can utilize what's called a direct connect gateway, and then have that direct connect gateway in the concept of a transit VIF, here, and then have a Direct Connect Gateway association into my VTGW. And with literally just a few clicks, I have been able to configure a very complex networking topology that would have taken quite a bit of time uh, to do by hand if I, if I would have, but by utilizing the SDDC group concept, I'm able to really simplify that. That's a huge, huge benefit. Now, keep in mind the previous conversations we had about security inside of VMware Cloud and AWS. This does not change our security model at all. I still need to permit firewall policies to get into my VPC, or in the case of VPCs, I need to configure my security groups as well to know about the SDC networks. And then also if there are any firewalls on premises or my compute gateway firewalls, that I have inside of my individual SDCs. I still need to configure those, right? But, uh, but we have a, a, a way to simplify that as well by utilizing groups that we pre-populate with the addresses that are dynamically learned across Transit Connect. So it becomes very, very simple to, again, accomplish that. Additionally, we've got some customers who say, hey, I, I've got hundreds of uh, VPCs and I need to provide access into my SDCs. No problem at all. Right, if you, the, typically customers that have hundreds of VPCs also have an AWS TGW, a native AWS transit gateway. And the ability to be able to peer those allows us to be able to share, uh, first off, build a high speed, low latency pipeline between the two, but then also be able to share routing tables and, and things of that nature, utilizing managed prefix lists to simplify the, the addition of the SDC derived routes into AWS resources. So all of this is within a single region of, uh, of AWS, right? So this could be region one. What if I have resources in region three? I can extend that same concept and expand uh, my, my environment to where now my SDC group encompasses all of these resources as well, right? So, it's a little busy with the bubbles, but, 
follow along if you will, right? But I'm able to instantiate a VMware Transit Gateway inside of Region 3 and interconnect the SDCs and then establish a peering connection to this VTGW. All this is done just by virtue of, of selecting SDCs that are in the other region. We take care of the, the VTGW instantiation, the stitching, the routing, and all of the, that, that uh, communications. And then likewise, I can continue to add in my VPCs, my AWS TGWs, et cetera, and build that comprehensive topology that's not only reflective for that particular region, but also across the regions. So with that, hopefully that was helpful to get you a bit of an understanding of what we can do with VMware Transit Connect and how we can really simplify building out a, a topology like this by utilizing the SDC group concept. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day.